Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use iframes, which are pretty much the tool that you use to enter your IDX system, as you see here, or any other page that you want onto your website that necessarily doesn't belong, that isn't a part of your existing site. I know that's a confusing statement, but I'll show you what I mean. All right, so let's start with the IDX one. All right, let's say you have an IDX form from your MLS board or from whatever system, and you need to insert it into your site. Well, here's how you do it first, all right? Go to your Tizish admin panel and start at your dashboard, whatever the case is. Here it is. And now let's go create a page. So let's go to Add New, and you could do this in Post, by the way, as well. It's okay if it's in Post. But let's go to Page. We go to Add New Page. It's the same rules apply, but I want to show you on Page just so I could... So you can see a full example of, of uh, how it looks when it's full width as well. So here we are on the page. Let's just call this testing iframe page. All right, and then now let's say uh, here is our content. Now I'm just going to add a bunch of content just to show you that you can put content on the page. This is taking a little bit. Okay, so we have loads of content now on the page and now here's what you want to do see this link here well this is a link to an IDX form meaning the following if I open up a separate page and I put in this link alone well it's just gonna pull up this page so the thing is how do we make this IDX form show up on your website so it shows up actually on your website like this alright and you remember you can do this with any page I'm gonna show you how to do it with YouTube as well same exact uh, system so what you do is the following in your posting panel enter the exact code you see that's a whatever you call that sign bracket type in the word iframe hit space enter the URL exactly as it should be and hit one more space and now you're gonna enter the width for the horizontal width of the form so remember if you're in a if you're in a full posting setting like this it's 960 pixels across if you're in a regular blog post or regular posting width uh, space, this is only 623 pixels across. So here's what here's. Let me show you the simple way. Enter 620, and then hit one more space because now we need to enter the vertical height of the form. So to show you on this on the search for homes, 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 what you want to do is this is 960, and the height. See how it goes all the way down here. The height is at 2100, so enter the height big enough. That's the whole point. It depends on your on the size of your page. After that, you hit the close bracket. So you have an open bracket, the word iframe, and then you have this the entire URL that you're trying to iframe, and then you have the the width of the of the iframe, and then you have the height of the iframe. After that, simply hit publish to make your blog posting or your page live. Okay, so now that the post is live, we go to view page and you'll see how it looks. So you see how we have that form, but notice how it gets cut off. Well, that's because although that we gave the iframe the dimension of 620, the page itself is much bigger, right? So here's what we had to do. What you had to make this a full width page if you if your iframe is too big. So do the following. Go into your section go into your admin panel again the same posting section make this say 955 or 959 I like 959 and then after that under page attributes choose no sidebars what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow for a full width after that go ahead and click on save and once it saves now we can go back to the page here's how it was before we hit refresh the sidebar will be gone and the iframe will be big enough you see that now it fits perfectly so that's the basic way you can enter iframes into your website and iframes are for IDX forms and even the YouTube let's say you have a page called um, our YouTube page right well here's what you could do here's the YouTube page for Tizish what you want to do is take the URL at the top so here's the URL at the top you're going to copy this URL and now you're going to go back into your admin panel 
And now, instead of putting the other link, instead of putting your IDX link there, you're going to put your YouTube link. But here's one little thing you're going to notice that's a mistake. See how the link is lit up and it's a link and it's actually it's an actual link versus just text. What you need to do, and this is important or else it won't work, you need to click on the link and see how this button lit up. Check on this one that says unlink. So that way this this whole code is just regular text. All right. Now, after that, go ahead and hit on update. And after this updates, you'll see how we're going to take this entire YouTube page and it'll be embedded on your website as if it's part of your website. You know, obviously people will know it's a YouTube page, but still it'll be on your website. So here's the page before with the iframe code. Now I'm going to hit refresh and we'll see it there with the YouTube page inside. Oh, here's the YouTube page. So you know what? Um, YouTube isn't letting you do that. So hold on one moment. Let's just find out the exact code. Well, I just hit pause and it turns out that um, you can no longer put YouTube videos embedded like that. So let me show you with just an example of Google. Just the whole key point isn't to show you YouTube specifically. It's just to show you that you can iframe any content. You know, actually, let's just do tizzish.com just to really show you. I want you to get the whole functional purpose of this. So we enter your URL there. Now you hit update. And you're going to see on this example post, tizzish.com is going to be framed into the full width of the website here. So see how this is where YouTube was supposed to go. So now I hit refresh and we'll see the tizzish site showing up there. See how that shows up now? But uh, notice the following. Obviously you, won't, you don't need to put tizzish in there because that's for the sake of the example. But notice how this uh, vertical stick is right here. Well that's because the length of the page is way too big. So what you would do is is make the height longer on your iframe. And remember, this is your width, this is your height. So I would make this like, let's say, 9,100. That is pretty huge for embedding an iframe, but just to show you the functional part, that's what I'm doing right now. So once this thing saves, now it's updated. So now when I hit refresh here, we're gonna see how that vertical stick is now disappeared because we've given the we told the iframe to be large enough so you see how that works now it's basically iframe the whole page alrighty so that's everything you need to know for uh, putting using iframes you can use any URL you want of any page on the internet but obviously make sure it's something that's relevant and it's yours the most typical way is through iframes, which are your, which, oh, sorry, which, which are IDX links. All right, the most typical way is through IDX links found here. All right, well that's everything. Uh, hopefully, you have, if you have any questions, go to facebook.com/tizish and ask me there.